first we follow that Mislock Trail. So this is a, it's a well established uh, trail, park trail. Um, there are not too many tourists who use this particular trail section from Mislock, but it joins up over here after six kilometers up here at the highest point tomorrow. So that's kilometer four on the main trail that goes up to the peak. Um, and I think by the time you reach there, there'll be a lot of people coming up. So, so just be very careful when you're going down, when you meet people. I mean, you know, be, <coughs> be careful not to overrun people and, uh, and just be respectful. We, this is one important point, we written in the course notes, said that there's a TP here at Layang Layang, so that was CP1. We have dropped that, um, so there will be no C, uh, CP at, at CP1. So don't run around looking for it. Uh, just go up, and as you follow the trail, you meet <coughs> the summer trail, and you turn left, and then you head four kilometers down to what is the, it's called Tiflon Gate, that's where you normally start uh, all the climbers, the, the trail up to the mountain. So that's down when we come down here. And you see in between, you go down and cross one river here, and then you have some steep stuff coming up to here. River. And from there, it's just down, 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 down. It's 34, 34. Yeah, it's in from the gate. Woohoo! Now you can see the elevation now. Alina, elevation. <coughs> so that's how it looks. So we come down here to uh, Timson Gate in this area. It's not sitting in the woods, they're sitting <laughs> around here in the, where the gate is. Uh, down here actually. So we pass through the gate here and you continue down. This is a Tarsil Road. Uh, you continue a few hundred meters down to the tech point. Uh, you can't, this is sitting along a small cell along the road. And then from there, once you've checked in, you go back up and you find a trail on the right hand side. Uh, which is called Ibaka Trails. This is also one of the official park trails, but it's not, it's actually closed for um, tourists at the moment. Uh, we did it last weekend and it is rather rough at the moment, full of leaves. And there's a lot of drop-offs, like 30 meters down. When you walk along, it's a beautiful trail, but you have to be very careful, it can be very slippery. So, hurry slowly, so to speak, um, because if you're too fast there, you could finish your race there, I'm afraid. <laughs> So be careful, that, and there's another one of the reasons I think they're close to this, that they are installing some new pipes, it's sort of messy. Uh, so there's some huge uh, diameter pipeline on the trail in some areas, which you just have to kind of climb around. There's also a couple of areas where they actually try to block off the road so people don't, or the trail so people don't go in. Don't worry about it, we do have permission to go through. So if there are workers there, I hope they're not working tomorrow, if there are workers there and saying you're not allowed to come here, just tell them no, we have actually permission to do this race here. Um, there's also a couple of small landslides. There's one where you have to climb up over a tree and a little bit up and find a trail down on the other side again. It's nothing major, uh, just don't get too worried about it. Just follow the trail and, and be careful and get back on the trail on the other side. <coughs> uh, as part of the maps, we'll hand out the official trail map. It's not very accurate, but it has the main trail on it. You should be able to follow it. Because as you come down, uh, towards the park, the, head, the park headquarters. So you're coming down here. Uh, you actually have to take another trail. So you first meet one trail on the right hand side, and the second trail on the right hand side is called Sila Sila Trail. And that's the one you take to the right, and we basically follow that up along the most even your left hand until you basically reach the uh, CP up here at the big hall. That's where you pick up your bikes for the adventure races. Uh, trail runners, not so lucky, continue on foot. <laughs> um, so you just basically continue on that small trail. And if you should happen, because there are few small bridges across the stream, and you might come out too early, uh, then you get onto the Tarsley Road here, then you just have to go to your map and find your way to the main hall here where your bikes are. <coughs> How many kilometers? <coughs> From, uh, from here. Oh, to, um, yeah, so to CP2 is about 10 kilometers, and 6 up and 4 down. And it's another about 5 kilometers down here. Um, 
a GPS failed a bit and I looked at a different uh, trail maps. One says 5.5 decibels, it says up at the top, another one says 4.5, so around 5. <laughs> so that's 15 by this time, yeah, altogether, <laughs> approximately. Uh, you can see what the map, uh, the Google here says a little too little because I don't take all the small twists and turns in it. So that actually says 12. Oh, the yeah. first. <laughs> but it's a bit more than first. that. Up here, the first six. Uh, from here, or sorry, from CP3, you continue on the road. Um, so there's, it's actually a one-way road here. That just continues up here, past the park headquarters. And then below the park headquarters, we mark the main road uh, that Anna just warned about. So there's a lot of traffic here. Um, you have to follow that main road about two kilometers to Wasburg Kilimbalo if you turn right and follow the main road. And as Amon said, uh, you know, bikers follow long traffic rule. Be very careful when you cross over here because it's actually very bad to see when uh, cars are coming around the corner here. <coughs> Trail runners, when there is space, follow the right-hand side. In some states, there's not really space there, and there's more space on the other side. When you come down to watch the turn, there's a, um, one of these kind of bridges down to us here. You are allowed to cross over and, and walk there. That's probably safer. In that area. So after two kilometers, turn down and you're going downhill. So you are now down here, so you have this downhill section. And look out for a road on the left hand side. Uh, this is very fast on bikes, but be careful. And be careful not to always shoot this because you have a hard time coming back up. <laughs> I actually changed the route one, one week ago. I had a lot much longer route for the cyclists before we went down and we had about two kilometers of steep up. But. So, so now everyone goes, looks for this, it's called Kinasaban Road, and you turn left, and then you locate CP4 along that road. So uh, it's, it's in the Where do we turn It's in the course description. So when you get the maps, it's in the course description. That's right. I, I think I mentioned that. In that road because, yeah, it's a little bit. Is it signposted? Sorry? Is it signposted? It's the road is signposted with the normal uh, road signpost, yes. Okay. It has a name on the camera. <coughs> but if you come very fast on the bike, you may as well <laughs> miss out on that. Can I just clarify one thing? Yeah. Checkpoint 4 is actually checkpoint 3, checkpoint 5 is actually. Is that right? You said you got rid of checkpoint 1. Yes, but we have remained or maintained the numbering, so to speak. So we just skip checkpoint one. So the first one you meet is actually checkpoint two. But we'll still call it checkpoint two because that's what is called on the maps, otherwise people just kind of confused. How many kilometers? Between three and four? Um approximately I can't see the number. 